Hemorrhagic septicemia, or HS, is a serious disease. It affects animals like cattle and buffalo. This disease is a big problem in parts of Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. HS can kill animals very quickly. The disease is caused by bacteria. These bacteria are called. They release harmful substances called toxins. These toxins make the disease even more dangerous. HS is a major concern for farmers. It can cause big losses of animals and money. Understanding HS is important for protecting animal health. Is a type of bacteria. It is often found in the respiratory systems of animals. However, only certain types of cause HS. These specific types are called serotypes. In Asia, serotype B2 is the main culprit. In Africa, it is serotype E2. These serotypes are particularly dangerous. These bacteria produce toxins. Toxins are like poisons that damage the animal's body. The toxins contribute to the rapid and severe progression of HS. HS spreads easily from animal to animal. This can happen through direct contact. For example, infected animals might sneeze on healthy ones. The bacteria can also spread indirectly. This happens through contaminated water or feed. Some animals carry the bacteria but don't get sick. These are called carrier animals. They can still spread the disease. Stressful situations like transport can make carrier animals shed more bacteria. Environmental factors play a role too. Rainy and humid weather helps the bacteria survive. This increases the risk of outbreaks. Overcrowding of animals also makes it easier for the disease to spread. A section 4. A Cascade of Destruction, How HS Affects the Body Once enters an animal's body, it multiplies rapidly. The bacteria often start in the tonsils. From there, they spread through the bloodstream. This leads to a condition called septicemia, which is an infection of the blood. The toxins released by the bacteria cause widespread damage. They attack blood vessels, causing them to leak. This leads to swelling and internal bleeding. Organs like the lungs and liver are particularly affected. The immune system tries to fight back. However, the disease progresses so quickly that the immune response is often overwhelmed. This is why HS is often fatal. Section 5. Recognizing the signs, symptoms of hemorrhagic septicemia. Early signs of HS are often subtle. Animals may appear dull or depressed. They might have a fever and be reluctant to move. These initial signs can easily be missed. As the disease progresses, more obvious symptoms appear. Affected animals may have difficulty breathing. They may drool excessively or have discharge from their nose. Swelling in the throat and neck is a characteristic sign. In some cases, death can occur suddenly, even before any clear symptoms are noticed. This highlights the importance of prevention and early detection. Section 6. Unmasking the Enemy, Diagnosing HS Diagnosing HS can be challenging, especially in the early stages. Veterinarians rely on a combination of clinical signs, history of the herd, and laboratory tests. Blood tests can reveal signs of infection. However, the most definitive way to diagnose HS is to isolate and identify the bacteria. This involves taking samples from sick or deceased animals and culturing them in a laboratory. Molecular techniques such as PCR can also be used. These tests can detect the DNA of in samples even if the bacteria are no longer alive. Section 7. A Race Against Time Treatment and Control of HS Treating HS is difficult because of its rapid progression. Antibiotics are the main treatment option. However, to be effective, they must be administered very early in the course of the disease. Prevention is key to controlling HS. Vaccination is the most effective preventive measure. Vaccines help animals develop immunity to the bacteria, reducing the risk of infection. Good hygiene practices are crucial. This includes isolating sick animals, disinfecting contaminated areas, and properly disposing of dead animals. Reducing stress on animals, such as minimizing transport and overcrowding, can also help prevent outbreaks.